When it comes to holiday treats, the easier the better. So here with a, an easy no-bake treat are Jamie Johnston, baker behind the popular food blog My Baking Addiction, and Melissa Spurka, the cookbook author of and the voice behind Melissa's Southern Style Kitchen. So you're both bloggers and well-known bakers. How did you join forces? This is actually the first time that we've teamed up in person. person. Yeah. We've done some things behind the scenes, but we're both super excited to be here. It's been a lot of fun. That's great. So you're going to show us how to make something delicious. Yes, right. we're going to be talking about chocolate scotcheroos. And if you've never had a chocolate scotcheroo, they are an ooey gooey no bake dessert that have flavors of peanut butter and chocolate. And they're super easy to make. You only delicious. need six ingredients, and five of those ingredients have a one cup measurement. So we're going to start with one cup of caro syrup, six cups of crispy rice cereal, one cup of sugar, one cup of creamy peanut butter one cup of chocolate chips, and then one cup of butterscotch chips. And then Melissa here is going to walk you through the prep. Well, the preparation is just as simple as those ingredients sound. In a saucepan, you're going to melt together the caro syrup and the sugar. You're going to bring that mixture to a boil. Then you're going to add the peanut butter. Stir the peanut butter really well into that mixture, and then add the cereal. Once the cereal has been evenly coated with all that goodness, you're going to press it into a, a greased 13 by 9 inch pan and then you're, it's ready to be topped. In another saucepan, you're going to cook together over low heat the chocolate chips and the butterscotch chips until they're smooth. Then you're going to frost the top of the scotcheroos. Set it aside for about 45 minutes or so, or until they're firm, then they're ready to be cut into bars and eaten. Yeah. And if you have a hungry crew, you can always pop them in the fridge to get them to set up just a little bit quicker. That looks incredible. So there are lots of ways you can make it. What are your favorites? My favorite variation would probably be using a layer of salted caramel on top, but I also love the traditional ones as well. How about you, Melissa? Well, the caramel, you can't go wrong with caramel. Um, one thing I love about Scotcheroos is that this time of year, you could even add a peppermint uh, edge by using all of those crushed peppermints that are at the bottom of the bag you never know what to do with. If you'll sprinkle those over the classic, classic Scotcheroos then you've got a festive holiday treat. For sure and we also have these adorable little mini green wreaths and we have Santa's on sticks which are so great for the kiddos because we all know they love anything on a stick. I think we all do. So what are your favorite holiday traditions? My favorite holiday tradition would have to be baking a ton of cookies. Um, everyone loves a different type of cookie, so I really try to make a point to make everyone's favorites and have a little bit of extra so they can take them home after the holidays. And we love baking together too, and, and most importantly, pulling out those recipes from uh, that's, that have been passed down for generations um, that are tried and true, and that give us sort of that warm, fuzzy holiday feeling, remembering our loved ones at this time of year. That's very sweet. So what's one tip that each of you can share with our viewers today? My number one tip would be to start in a clean kitchen. So a clean sink, clean counters, and if you have a dishwasher, make sure that's emptied and sort of clean up as you go. What about you, Melissa? Well, for me, it's in the planning. You want to make sure that you have all of the ingredients on hand that will um, allow you to get started in the kitchen when you're ready to go. And then you're, you can focus on making memories and not be lacking an ingredient when you start a recipe. Good ideas. Where can we learn more? So you can find a ton of delicious recipes at carosyrup.com. You can also visit our blog. That's right, our website. Or websites. check out the Facebook Caro page for tons of recipe inspiration. We'll make sure to check them out. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Our pleasure. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.